This video will go over the History tab and its many functions. The icons on the left side show the transaction status. Zero confirmations show gears, and then when the transaction is included in a block, the icon goes to a clock, and the block time shows up under date. The clock color will change from red to green as more confirmations come in, and will settle at a green check mark for six or more confirmations. You can copy any of the fields by right clicking and choosing copy. This works for the date, description, amount, and balance. The only field that is editable is the description. This is useful for keeping your transaction history organized. The amount column shows the value of the transaction and the balance column shows how much cumulative BCH you have in your wallet throughout its history. You can also right click on the transaction to bring up its details. The top box is a transaction ID. You can bring up its QR code by clicking the button in the right of the field. You can also see everything from the previous screen plus the transaction size, its fee, and what block it was included in. The inputs are listed in the middle box and the outputs in the bottom. If you right click on an unconfirmed transaction, you will get a child pays for parent option. If you set your original fee too low, which is unlikely on BCH unless you pay less than one Satoshi per byte, you would want to use this feature to push your transaction through. There is a slider for how much of an additional fee you want to tack on. The send transaction window will then pop up. Click sign in, enter your password to send. Right clicking on the description allows you to edit it. Choosing the View on Block Explorer option opens your default web browser to the default block chair.info website. Here you can see even more information about the transaction.